Apple is going to reinvent the phone. It has been more than 10 years since the late Steve Jobs unveiled the first iPhone. A lot has changed since then, as it could again today, as Apple is expected to unveil its latest version. The yep. event happening at Apple's newly built headquarters in Cupertino, California. As always, there has been plenty of speculation about the new device. CNET editor Dan Ackerman joins us now live in New York. Dan, thanks so much for joining us. It's good to be here. I understand that there was a big leak over the weekend. Tell us what you know about the rumored features. Yeah, Apple always keeps everything very close to the vest, but there have been so many leaks about this uh, new series of phones that I feel like we know a lot of the big beats. Uh, apparently, there'll be an iPhone 8, which is a simple step up from the 7 or the 6 that you have now, but more exciting, a special 10th anniversary version they're calling the iPhone X. They, they, they may pronounce it iPhone 10, and that's going to be fancier with that big screen that goes over the entire front and have new features like facial recognition and, frankly, probably cost a lot more. So do, what is your guess on this? I mean, we've heard all the rumors, as you said, the fancier display, wireless charging, a lot of things. Android users, as always, are sitting at home saying, we already have this stuff. I'm, I'm not impressed. Uh, do you think, is this enough to get people to upgrade? We know people have been kind of on the fence uh, since we have to pay more upfront for our phones now. Oh, yeah, and especially because the last three generations of iPhones, the 6, the 6S, and the 7, have all kind of looked the same. There have been small changes and improvements, but it's kind of the same phone. And if you look at phones from Samsung and uh, LG and others, they have these new design features you really want, the all-over screen, the curved edges. Uh, Apple needs to play catch-up on some of these things, and, and, they, and they eventually do in most of the big cases. This is their chance to have a modern phone for 2017. Apple got rid of the headphone jack with its last model. We know there was some pushback with that. Did that have any impact on sales? It doesn't look like it did, even though I continue to hear about that to this day. People really miss the headphone jack, especially if they have their own fancy headphones they want to use instead of the ones that come with the iPhone. But uh, I don't think that's coming back this year, sadly. Yeah, it's one of those things that people complain about, but there's, if you want to stay in the iPhone ecosystem, there's not much you can do about it, right? What, are, what do you think the other big headlines will be out of today? Will there be a new uh, television from Apple? Any, any other new uh, things you think we should look for? It does, not a television, which is a project they've worked off and on, uh, you know, for years, but an updated Apple Watch that's going to have its own uh, data connection so you don't need to tether it to your phone, like if you go jogging or something, and an Apple TV, which is their little set-top streaming box for Netflix and other streaming services that's going to support 4K, which I think is important because even budget TVs are 4K TVs now. Very true. Although that that Apple TV costs so much money compared to those little uh, uh, Roku stri sticks and Google sticks. Yeah, the Roku and, and, yeah. and the other guys. Yeah. All right, Dan Ackerman, CNET editor. We'll be watching CNET today for the live blog as the announcement comes out noon Minneapolis time. Thanks, Dan. Thank you. Thank you.